Archbishop Alexander Golitsyn is the Bishop of Dallas, the South, and the Bulgarian Diocese. He is a monk of Simona Petra Monastery on Mount Athos, where he was the disciple of the great elder Emilianos. Uh, he is also a graduate of Oxford University, where he wrote his monumental doctoral dissertation on St. Dionysius the Areopagite. Archbishop Alexander is a wonderful archpastor, and he's, as you'll see, a uh, fine scholar. So without further ado, I hope you'll enjoy this episode from my interview with His Eminence Archbishop Alexander Golitsyn. St. Dionysius the Areopagite is mentioned in the 19th book, 19th chapter of the book of Acts. It's where St. Paul makes an attempt to convert the Athenians at the hill of Mars near the Parthenon and fails miserably, um, except for two converts one of whom is Dionysius the Areopagite. Now the question of who, the question who is Dionysius the Areopagite is somewhat complicated by the fact that somewhere around the turn of the sixth century, we aren't sure exactly when, but that's a pretty good estimate, a body of works appeared under the name of St. Paul's convert at the Areopagus. These works don't appear to have antedated the turn of the 6th century, so they could not have been by the 1st century person. And the short answer as to who the author of this corpus is, is we don't know. There have been a number of guesses over the last 150 years, none of which has succeeded in persuading very many besides the proponent of the identity, and usually even that not for very long. Now, the importance of this body of work is very considerable. Let's just take two, one phrase and one word, which this corp, which appear in this body of works for the first time. The word is hierarchy. It appears to have been the invention of the writer of this body of works because it's not encountered anywhere prior to these works in Greek literature, but it appears almost everywhere in Christian literature thereafter, shortly thereafter. So to say that it was a successful coinage is to put things mildly. The other is a phrase which should be familiar to us, the phrase mystical theology. That is a title that crowns the shortest of the four main works ascribed to St. Dionysius. The four are, for the record, the celestial and ecclesiastical hierarchies, the divine names, and fourth, the mystical theology. Now we may think we know what that word means, that phrase, uh, but I think we'd be mistaken. And the scholarly problem or question anyway, 
regarding the Dionysian corpus is several fold. But number one, after we get past who was he, which nobody knows, number one is what's the relationship of those two words or phrases that he coins? The problem is as follows. The mystical theology, that little treatise, begins with the story of Moses going up Mount Sinai and meeting God in the cloud on top of the mountain, which the author of the, of the little treatise treats as an example of direct experience of God. In the, to, coin a, to, to borrow a phrase from a later English rendering of the treatise, in the cloud of unknowing. Hierarchy, on the other hand, if we take it by its usual contemporary meaning, contemporary meaning, describes a kind of percolation of mediated knowledge of God coming from God through the various ranks of the angels, down to the bishops of the church, to the priests, the deacons, the monks, and finally the baptized laity. But what's the relation of that mediation to the direct encounter? They appear to be contradictory. Just as problem number two, Dionysius, to give the unknown writer the name that he's borrowed, um, the second problem is that he's very clearly familiar with the writings of late Neoplat pagan Neoplatonism, especially the works of the Neoplatonist Proclus of Athens, who died in 486, and who on occasion the Dionysian writings quote directly. Thus the second problem is, is this a Christian? Or is it a Neoplatonist wolf hiding under the sheep's clothing of a Christian name from the Christian scriptures to put forth an a message essentially alien and ultimately subversive of the Christian gospel. Hi again, hope you enjoyed this episode from my interview with His Eminence Archbishop Alexander Golitsyn. Please leave a comment below let me know what you thought of this video and please subscribe below uh, so you can get notified the next time an episode becomes available, which happens every Friday. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week.